What's another cane brown? Put your hat on backwards and then shield your eyes from the sun with your hand. We're a tough crowd, guys. We're a tough crowd. You're going to sing country, you need to fake it better than that. All right, so what does it mean to fish like cane brown? It means you reel the hook or the lure all the way up to the eye. It means you snag stuff up. It just means you do a whole bunch of stuff you ain't supposed to do like you never fished before. If you're new, you got an excuse. If you've been doing it a while, then we're gonna pick on you. So what are you doing? I'm getting some bait for some bait. It's a little bait rod action there, trying to catch some perch. Why are we Why are we catching perch, Grayson? Do we want to tell everybody why we're catching? We got plenty of bait here on the boat. We can see. But do we want to tell everybody why we're catching more bait? Because we caught some yesterday, right, Grayson? Yeah. What happened? Let's... What? I needed a charger to talk to my girlfriend, <laughs> and um, I kind of unplugged the everything for to charge the boat. And that did what? Let's go into a great detailed description here. That cut off what? Oxygen to what? The fish. I didn't know. It. Yeah, I got on the boat this yeah. morning, and we had oxygen going on our tank, and every piece of bait we had was dead i knew something was up i thought maybe the breaker might have got tripped on it or something no no i noticed the front porch light was on at the camper and i looked and guess what the dead. plug was unplugged from the camper so grace could charge this phone stuff happens we'll catch more all right guys we're out on lake watery uh july it's hot pretty decent this morning humidity's all right um uh, we got a lot of smoke from those fires. It looks like it's foggy out here, but it's actually smoke in the air. There's some uh, forest fires out in the uh, out west and a lot of smoke, hazy, just kind of icky looking, kind of weird looking. Big yellow sun even uh, this late in the morning. And uh, we're doing some dragging, trying to find some catfish, trying to get on some stuff. We got uh, one of Grayson's cousins with him, trying to put him with some fish. We already had him out here. He's got a pretty good PB already. It's gonna be hard to beat, but we're gonna try. We're gonna see what we can get on to. That didn't take long. Come here. That bait was barely in the water. There you go. It's a little one. Get your hand higher up. There we go. Got to work on that hand position. We're gonna work on your angling skills today. All right. We Stop got reeling. you. We got you Stop to just catch Stop. fish yesterday. Slowly lift up. Now when you go back down, the reel. Let me get this. One. We're going to work on his angling skills. We got him to catch fish yesterday. Today is going to be fine tuning him as an angler. Grayson over here playing first mate. Proud of you, son. You're doing a heck of a job out here instructing and helping with stuff, getting planer boards off. Real. Stop, Stop real. And now reel down. Let down. Reel down. Reel. No, reel at the same time. <laughs> right, we got to do better. We gotta do Stop. better. Slowly lift up. Now, when you let the rod down, you reel. There you go. Let the rod down and reel. Reel at the same, at the same time. time. And let the rod down and reel. Yeah. While you're letting. Okay. Go. Stop reeling. Now lift. There you go. And then reel as you go down. I think he reels every time the rod tip moves. We're gonna work on him. We're gonna get him dialed in here. All right. Stop reeling and lift up. Now reel when you let down. There you go. And just keep doing that. There we go, there we go, there we go. All right, don't reel any more, you're already to the tip. All right, walk back that way toward Grayson. There you go. Oh, oh. Ah. Boom, loosen the boat. There we go, get that away from my face, perfect. Okay. Our new joke now is, uh, we don't say Luke Bryan anymore when you reel the rig all the way to the right tip. It's Kane Brown because he got lost in his backyard uh, in his truck. So when you were that dumb and that uh, uncountry, that's what we call you. There you go. Chook. Good job, pal. First one of the day. About eight pounds. I know that would have. You started out with a small one yesterday. You started out with one that was a good one today. That's a personal best for a lot of people. But sadly, you got on the gravy train yesterday. Chunk him back. Put him in on Grayson's side. Let's see Ready? Mm -hmm. Now the trick is. Now let the, not let the cane oh, down. see there, look. You done cane browned it. Come on. You done cane browned it all the way to the tip. There you go. You're going to do it in a slow motion. Pretend there's a big fish on there. Lift up. Reel. Reel when you go 
go down. Post up. Basically, what you're doing is you are lifting the rod to pull in line, and then as you lower the tip, you're going to reel the line in that you just pulled up. Then you are going to rip, lift up more line, and then you're going to reel it in as you go down. The, tr the trick is this rod tip. When you lift the line up, it stays like that. And when you reel it in, it stays like that. What most people do wrong is they're gonna get it up to the top and then they're gonna go let go of it and it's gonna go slack. That's when you lose the fish. So it's a very slow process and you just have to lift real easy and then reel down real easy. Nothing herky-jerky, nothing fast. Never let the rod tip go, never let the fishing rod go straight. It's always gonna stay bent. Boom, got one going on that one. Bunk. Bait or catfish? That would be catfish. Here, I'll grab it. It's like three. This is like the third blue. We uh, had a cup and another one, a little bit smaller than that, that came on our perch rod. This is our perch tree. Trying to catch a little perch there. He's barely hooked. Is he? Let's okay. see if we can quick release him. Please don't tear my hook off. Please don't tear my hook off. Please don't tear my hook off. Please don't put a hook in my hand. Please don't tear my hook off. Oh, you got another one? What one is that, boy? This is a recipe for disaster. Won't tear my hook off. Barely hooked, huh? Boom. Finally got it. Told you. Got him. It's number three. But two of them is little, little. Now, we fished another creek yesterday, and as soon as we started, we were catching fish. Why didn't we go back there? Well, I'm just trying to see if I can replicate that pattern in another creek. So far, it's sort of working. We're catching fish. We're just, uh, we don't have the size we had in the other place. But hey, not all creeks are created equal. Not all patterns are created equal. Not all of them translate to different parts of the water. So uh, sometimes you got to play around a little bit and see what's working. And that's what we're doing. That's good. So let's see. Boom. He's on. He is on like Donkey Kong. He's on there. Reel him in. There you go. Okay. We're catching like crazy now. I oh, know. Flip him over here. There you go. Don't cane brown him. Don't cane brown him into another rod. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Dear Lord. There he is. Quick release. Stonk in the bilge. Got him out. There he is. Sometimes they're very sensitive about the blind being on the bottom. Don't know why that is. There we go. Walk him over. Walk him over. Shunk. Will he quick release? Will he quick release? No, he won't. No, he won't. That's a good size perch, too. That's almost big enough to eat there. That's a good fish. Guys, we made a move out of that creek to some deeper water. We're going to make a pull across some humps here. See if there's any fish. I drifted some of this flat here for about 20 minutes adjacent to these humps and I caught one fish that didn't even roll on. It was actually on my perch rod over my shoulder. It was a little white cat. You don't catch them too much anymore. Oh, might be getting popped again. Might have one getting ready to want to eat. But uh, yeah, we don't catch white catfish anymore. Uh, they're actually a bullhead uh, in the bullhead family. So anyway, we're going to keep pulling across here, see what we can find, see if there's anything on here. And if that don't work, we're going that way that board there and move it to that other rod holder so you got a little room to operate in there yep just put it in that one yes sir thank you thank you thank you there you go good job walking backwards you're getting the hang of it walking backwards makes it easier to get to the planer board good job grayson go real tight on him it's funny you get here on this hump this is where they're at we got here nice and steady nice and steady no rush getting them in faster does not help anything nice steady retrieve there you go we got mr channel cat Shoo. come here sucker come here sucker there we go got him another one in the boat good job player all right, get that rod out there. That sucker's on there this time. Right yep. There you go. Grab in front of the rod holder. No, 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 no. Grab in front. Uh, hang on. Put it back in the rod holder. I'm going to show you how to do this. 
Because here's what you're getting ready to do. You're ready to get, getting ready to get that thing jerked out of your hand. When you go to grab it, grab it up here. Because you go here and here, and all of a sudden that thing slams over, it's going to take it out of your hand. So grab it up in front of the rod holder. There you go. That's better. Are those lines tangled? I don't know, but I, there may be a fish on this other rod too. Don't tell me he come off. No, he's just swimming off to the left. There Let me we check go. This one. Hang on, see if it pulls that line. Say, go over to the left-hand side. Go that way, go that way, more, more, more. All the way to the outside of the boat. There you go. There you go. Perfect. Put that rod underneath the arm. Yep, he's back there now. Stay right there, stop reeling. Get him. Walk back that way. So the line comes to me. There we go. Shunk! In the boat. Green planer. Starting to get a little bit of breeze. Yeah, they call me the breeze. Why'd you put green planers on the red rods and orange planers? Because Grayson, I broke my OCD. Okay, I let go of it. I let it go. I didn't have to do that. I that. didn't. No, Dad, look at that's just, it's just so I awesome. know, it's tough. We'll get that planer, but there you go. Good job. Good job. Planer off. Hopefully that fish is still on there. I think he's uh you, th there you think he's on there pretty good? Feel him, Grayson? Yeah. That line is awfully tight. Oh yeah, he's real. He's there. Dang. He's big. Try putting the butt of that rod underneath your arm like we talked about earlier there we go that way my back doesn't hurt as bad looking that you've been over keep the rod lifted up yeah there you go that looks a lot better form i'm digging that now there we go we're gonna have you dialing this in you're gonna have it all dialed in before it's over with we'll never have to call you cane brown again all right yes lift him up here Put my little rattle cork on there, and I do not have a clue how that thing came loose on the top. I was twisted around it. I put one of these little rattles on there because I was out of uh, styrofoam. It got twisted. That's what it is. We got one. Woohoo! Thank you, Grayson. Nice catch player. Grab that one in rare bag. I think he's on there. I think he's on there. Getting toward the end of our day here, man. We covered some water. Got to some places where it was kind of dead. We actually, guys, we actually picked off some fish. We didn't even show them. Uh, I think we're up to 12 fish. But some of these were kind of small fish, and we caught them on perch rods, and we just weren't that excited about them. You got one, Grayson? Uh, step back down off of that. There's no need to stand up there. There you heavy. go. Huh? Yeah, cool. You're much better off standing on the ground on the deck of the boat where you got feet control. Standing on that little place there ain't gonna give you any advantage whatsoever. Come on, don't go to oh no, he's cane browning it. Oh, oh, oh. He's heavy. It's good. Oh uh, we worn him out past couple days. I had something come off the end. Back up a little bit. Let me get this. Okay, hold that. Still got him. Nice and smooth, dude. Nice and smooth. Let that hand, let that right hand wrap around that reel. Put that hand, that right hand right in there. There you go. There you go. Gives you a little better leverage. A little better balance. Nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. Come on, show Kane Brown who the man is. Show him how to catch a fish. You wouldn't you wouldn't get lost in your backyard, would you? No. You wouldn't get lost behind your house and have to call the police to come help you, would you? How the heck was this fish so heavy? Ah, uh, hey, listen. We, I'm saying. I don't want all right, hold that there. Hold that there. Listen, y'all, somewhere out there, somebody knows Kane Brown. Make sure he sees this video. There he is. Get him back alive. This little fish. Hey guys, don't be a cane brown when it comes to fishing, okay? Here's the good news. All right, our little man on the boat, he's got an excuse. Cane Brown's a grown man. He got lost in the woods behind his house. 
What does that say? He's as country as a subway. This is my cat, son. You might be in some little stripers. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. So if you can keep him around that line, it's going to be a pain. You're going to have a pain here. Okay. Hang on a second. Let me get, help you out here. There we go. Let me get this underneath you. We just had a bunch of fish blow up on top of the water. Lift it up here. Right there. You got a striper. Lift and hang on. Let me get the leader if I can. You got a striper and a perch. Bam. We will chunk. Oh, let me hold the striper now. Yep, we'll get the striper. I'll get the perch off of there. We just had some fish bust on top of the water, guys. Uh, we got that last catfish released. And we're sitting here knocking on Kane Brown. Yeah, nice little striper. Well, no, guys, we had a school uh, just go off behind us. We just got that uh, catfish <laughs> back in the water. We're making fun of Kane Brown, and we heard a whoosh, 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 and it was a bunch of fish on top of the water, and Grayson popped that one in a perch. Normally, I get their natural elements for mating come out all over my hands. This time, yeah. I get freaking crap. Yeah, chuck him back. We'll let him grow. The bass fisherman did. Yeah. Well, folks, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Here are a couple more videos that I think you're going to like. I'd watch that one and then that one. No, no do, do that one first and then that one. I, I don't know. Just watch them both. They're both good.